Re-architected from the original Slim Sleeve, the new Bellroy Apex Slim Sleeve is an innovative and creative step forward in wallet design, construction, and function, so stick around. As always, we appreciate you coming to Wallatopia. Welcome. Now, if you'd like to see an interactive method to finding your next wallet, go to explore.wallatopia.info. It has various interactive ways to uh, filter out wallets uh, based on materials, cost, number of cards, and so forth. Kind of fun, so go check it out. Now, everyone's been excited about this wallet, and it took a while for me to get a hold of it because it sold out so quickly. So, this is the Bellroy Apex. Let's get into it. As you can see with this, we have an introduction to new packaging from Bellroy. Their uh, old wallet packaging, or current pot wallet packaging, is more of an envelope. And it's all the same. I like the standardization, but this is different. And I think this, uh, we're seeing it because of this, is the Apex line. And the Apex line has a lot of integrated messaging that's part of this. And uh, I like this box. It's sturdy. This isn't uh, cheap by any means. And this looks to be really tight. Let's see if we can get it in here. All right, there we go. All right. Oh baby, Tangelo. That's what this is. Their uh, marketing seems to be all based around right now. This is day one about how long their wallets can last. And here we go. This is the Bellroy Apex Slim Sleeve. This is a re-architecture, redesign, and different construction methodologies using the Slim Sleeve design. So as we can see, this is a molded leather and it uh, is many layers that is heat sealed laminated essentially we get into it you pinch it and the reason why is we have magnets here let's take a look here there is no sewing obviously that's one of the main things touted by this particular wallet some nice instructions use it yeah, man, there's no sewing to look at it is so it is heat sealed interesting and has magnets that kind of click close on that that's kind of satisfying into the feature review of the Bellroy Apex slim sleeve all right, we've talked about how magnets are hard to do, and it looks like Bellroy has figured out a method that helps keep the wallet closed while not being a danger to cards or being too strong, making it hard to use. It's not really hard to kind of pry it open. Their preferred method is you know, like this. Now, if we look at the construction for a minute, we see that there is no stitching anywhere on this wallet. None, none on the outside. And even on the inside, no stitching at all. As mentioned, that's due to them using a laminating or heat sealing process on the leather layers here. This first leather is molded and heat sealed, so you can see the um, molding that has here, and it says that uh, this would last a long time. We'll talk about that. That's due to them using a laminating or heat sealing process of this leather. First, the leather is molded, it's precision cut and molded, and then heat sealed all at the same time, creating these layers. By removing the sewing in here, it allows a precision cutting to ensure we're minimizing the size, keeping it small, and we're maximizing the fit because we have no margins here for any of the sewing and the thread that's there. If we look at this from a feature perspective, outside of its construction, there is nothing on the exterior. They obviously, it's a pinch open, kind of cool. And with that, then we see in the experience, we have magnets, magnets on both sides here. And that's what gives us the closure, just like that. And it is quite clever and a great use of magnets. If we look here on the interior, both on the left and right hand side, we have card slots. Just one card slot on either side right here. And on the left hand side, we have a rear pocket. And this is great for folded cash primarily. You can put additional cards in there. And on the right hand side, we have a pull strap. This is a nice nylon pull strap. Feels very sturdy. And in here is where you would put additional cards. Very simple in design, meant to be very minimalist, very sleek. And that is a quick review of the features of the Bellroy Apex Slim Sleeve. Now remember, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. And so, let's get into the card and cash insertion test.
As you saw, we got five cards in there, one in each of these front slots. Let me pinch this open. And then three over here in the pull strap area. For cash, folded once, US currency works fine, and 20 euro and lower currency uh, denominations work fine for euro. Yen doesn't work at all. Now, as you saw, I think reasonable carry on this is six. The company says six to eight. Now, let me point out something I'm not quite uh, keen on. Now, as we can see right here, I don't know if you can see this very well, but this leather came to me kind of puckered right there. And this isn't the first time, there we go. This isn't the first time I've had wallets from Bellroy come to me with puckered leather or what, what, what I would really call defects. And so I'm not really happy with their quality assurance and their supply chain. They really can do a lot better than that. One other thing to point out is, uh, let me put these two cards back in. So we have five cards, right? Company recommends six to eight. I think that's comfortable. You could probably get up to 12. I mean, that's totally stuffing it um, along with a few slips of cash. But even with just these few cards, let me snap this close and you'll see that it, it doesn't close. I'm not sure what's going on here. The magnets will grab, but they're not really strong at this point. I mean, it'll just kind of kind of fold, fall open if I just put a little pressure on it. And that's with only five cards and a few slips of cash in here. So, you know, if they're thinking that this is this clamshell is really awesome, I'm thinking they're not right because that still doesn't look great. This is designed in Australia and made in either India or the Philippines, uh, either of those two countries. That's where they make their, their wallets. It didn't say in the packaging. Now, it's crafted from premium environmentally certified sourced leather from gold rated tanneries in the Netherlands. So this is the first wallet I remember that I know exactly what country the leather comes from. Now in summary, this is a pre-molded precision cut stitchless construction. It's heat welded with precision magnetic closure. That's the summary of this really. And, uh, and this is a re-architect of the original slim sleeve. Now, you know, I, I, because I really wasn't happy with this rippling in the leather, I, especially for $130, I hope that uh, they can do better on that. Um, they also are pandering to the mass paranoia by adding RFID, and RFID lining into this wallet. I know. I mean, where they're trying to get this to be slim, slim, adding more things into it that are unnecessary, it's kind of annoying. Now, we're told that the pre-molded leather facilitates the break-in period, but with it being such a clamshell uh, design, I would expect that it would collapse over time. I'm going to do a carry test on this to be sure. I don't think this clamshell piece, this pre-molding would be uh, really, really resilient, but, uh, but we'll find out for sure. Now, it's priced at $129. That's kind of why I'm a little torqued about uh, you know the quality here and what you get. It's kind of expensive. Now the pinch open is the easiest by way of opening this. Uh, the magnets, of course, the strength is very low, so it's no problem with your cards. And uh, it opens more towards the top. As you can see right here, you, you want to, as you pinch it, pinch it down lower, it opens more towards the top here. If it looks like, why is it opening completely like it should? Well, it's because there's more leather down here, there's less up here, and thus the uh, we get less resistance unless it opens there. But it opens nonetheless, kind of. Another thing I wanted to look at here was the uh, build on the inside, especially for the pull strap area. So as we pinch this open here, let's look at this pull strap. It is a nylon pull strap as we talked about. If we look in here, all pull straps should have a nice solid guide point here. This one appears to do that. It's good typical Bellroy. And almost always they are, of course, sewn in and secured to the back of the wallet here. As we can see, it's not. There is no sewing here. So this pull strap is of course sealed or laminated back to the uh, under the back of this leather, just like all the layers of leather here as well. So that's interesting. I don't know how that will hold up. Um, let's see here. I think it's interesting is, oh yeah, we see here, see how this leather is folded over here and is laminated as part of the whole thing. So, I mean, it's not just layers put down. There are different aspects to it. This front pocket wraps around here and it gets laminated onto the back side. And this tangelo color is a great contrast, kind of a burnt orange. I like that. Now it measures four by three by 0.6. I mean, this is uh, really you know, not thin, it is, but it's not. And it weighs 37 grams. Now my perception on this is this is an interesting experiment and I'm sure Bellroy is testing to see if this technology will hold out over time. You can feel good that your feedback, good or bad, will help define the future of their manufacturing process. And I will give them lots of credit for trying something different. It's hard to go out and do something that is a risk and they're doing that and so you have to admire them for that. So now if you've got a lot of extra money <clears throat> burning a hole in your pocket or you just find this so cool and it is kind of cool, I'll admit that, uh, this is probably a fun wallet to pick up and start using and really let's see how it holds up over time. They also have a three year warranty on their products so that's another good thing, another good sign about how they stand behind their products. So now let's get into the final score. For quality of four, 
Price of two, Features of three, Usability of three, and Perception of five. They're taking risks here. I'm going to give them a good score there. With a final score of 37 out of 50. If you want to see more of the rankings or videos around Bellroy wallets, we've done a lot of them, you can uh, go to the notes here. The notes here in this particular video will give them to you. Or go out to wallettopia.info slash rankings and you can see what we have. Thank you for being with us today. See you in the next review. Bye.